Starting off is of course brows, which I did do off camera. I um, went in with the Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil and then the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, Brow Gel, which I consistently have used throughout this year. Love it, love it, love it. And y'all know these are my favorite products, period, because I always mention them, especially the pencil. So I'm going to start off first with the eyes today. I'm going to go in with the P. Louise base, which I think is a pretty decent base um, for the price. I'm not sure uh, if the brand has expanded to like shipping from the United States because that's the only thing it does take about two weeks to get. But I think it's a pretty decent eye primer. And if I was going to say any eye primer was my favorite this year, it would have to be the P. Louise. And this is in the shade Rumor 2, so it's pretty light. I typically use this for my colorful shadow looks. All right, so before we get into putting any shadows on the eyes, I wanna go ahead and mention my Laneige Lip Glowy Balm. This is another essential favorite from this year. I use this as a primer for my lips. So before I start, I like to let that sit in for a little bit. Um, so before we even get started on the eyes, I'm gonna go ahead and put this on. Alright, so now the eyes. I have two palettes here that I'm going to use today. Um, okay, so before we get into the palettes and what they are, <laughs> Anastasia Beverly Hills and ColourPop to me have been some of my favorite eyeshadows this um, this year. Basically, I think that the formulas of both of them are amazing. One is, of course, just a lot more expensive than the other. Um, so I did decide to pick two just because I couldn't really decide like I really like ColourPop because it's great for the price and for the quality and Anastasia's shadows are just lovely to die for so I picked one eyeshadow from each and eyeshadow palette from each and I went ahead to and pick Jackie Ina's palette because I think this is the most um brown skin girl friendly palette that Anastasia has and then the other shadow palette that I picked was the Shayla X, X ColourPop Proceed with Caution palette from ColourPop, obviously. Um, again, I think her tones are very brown skin friendly. And she puts a lot of the essential colors that I feel like should be in most palettes in her palette. So, yeah, I think I'm going to combine these two and create a look with those. So, starting out, I'm going to go into the Makeup Shayla palette. And I'm going to go into the shade culture and I'm just gonna put that all over my transition area slash zone and I'm going in the shade going in with the burgundy shade in the palette maintenance and again pushing that into the transition area as well I'm switching to the Jackie Ina palette and I'm going in with the shade credit and I'm gonna use a smaller brush to stick that in the crease oh you know what I think I want to do a cut crease Okay, so now that my crease has been softly cut, I'm going in with the shade Wigalese. Just going to dab that on. And I think I want to add a little bit of gloves on the black shade from the ColourPop palette just to deepen it some more. Alright, so I think that's it for the eyes right now. Let's move on to some skin, honey. First things first, this Milk. Hydro Grip Primer has been life this year and a notable mention too is also a fave is my Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. This primer is very hydrating. It doesn't feel sticky but it does have a little tack to it so that your makeup stays all day. Um, two, I like companies that offer travel size products at the same time of the same release date as the full size product because that way if you don't want to spend the full price because I think this is a pretty expensive primer. Um, well, not as expensive as Tatcha, but it's, it's up there in price that you can get the mini ones. And for people like me who try, I tried a lot of makeup, it's easier for me, better for me to get the mini sizes just because I don't use a full thing of makeup because I try so much stuff. So next is foundation. And... Really good foundation that I've been loving this year is the NARS Naturally Radiant Foundation. Now this isn't new by any means, but I didn't say it was all released in 2019. Just my favorite products this year. So NARS is definitely one of my favorite foundations for this year. Other notable mention is the L'Oreal <clears throat> Freshwear 24 Hour. I think that's a 
balm foundation <clears throat> Ooh, foundation as well let me know if you guys want to see a um my least favorite products of 2019 video like this as well that just reminded me um but yeah i am in the shade macau this foundation is long lasting it wears well it makes me look like like you know what i'm saying not natural it's not a natural finish but it's not a dewy finish it's in like a good between and i really like that because it doesn't make me look like super sweaty but also it gives my skin a natural glow so moving on to concealer this year you already know born this way multi-use sculpting concealer need i say more like that's just been my absolute favorite and notable mentions again l'oreal 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 <laughs> that just reminds me of loving hip hop l'oreal but um yeah infallible l'oreal infallible full wear concealers um so i have both of those today i'm gonna use the l'oreal infallible what shade is this 415 honey and the born this way sculpting concealer and butterscotch to brighten as well as the l'oreal full wear and espresso so all three of those will be used today mind you all of these concealers are full coverage and honestly i just need to get it in my head that i only really love 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 full coverage concealers like i can do a medium to full or a super full foundation and i'm okay but i really 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 like for my concealer products to be full coverage i don't know what it is setting powder is an easy 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 thing to pick for me and if you watch any of my videos you know this huda beauty kunafa has been basically life-changing it's not dry it has a beautiful tone and i think it's pretty decently priced for a setting powder it makes my makeup look just flawless filtered just beautiful so i will be using that today next my favorite all over face powder has been the sephora micro smooth i think this is what it's called micro smooth powder and this is in the shade deep ebony and i just use this to set all of my face now over the areas i put my contour i'm gonna bronze to give it some more warm my hands down one of my favorite uh bronzers this year has been the kylie bronzer in tawny mommy and also the benefit um toasty is a another good bronzer it's very deep which is amazing i'm talking about the benefit one is very deep so during these months when I'm a little bit lighter, um, the Kylie one is more preferable to me. But this isn't that deep. So just be mindful of that. This may not even work for two skin tones deeper than me. But it just so happens to work for me for my winter shades. So it's definitely made its way into one of my favorite bronzers because it's more clay red than like a burnt red. Which is more like the benefit bronzer obviously because it might be for a little bit deeper skin tone than me so it has a darker red to it to highlight i'm going in with the matte gold deposit for highlighter i'm going in with the matte gold deposit it is like a staple i've had this for almost like three years i probably should update it but i love it and i don't feel bad about it <laughs> And of course, my setting spray choice of this year has been the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. It's amazing. I feel like my makeup lasts a lot longer when I use this. It lasts a long time as far as like bottles of this. Even if you use this daily, you will still have a good bit lit. I can attest to that because I use so much of this stuff. Um, also notable mention is the wet starting off is of course brows which I did do off camera I um, went in with the benefit precisely my brow pencil and then the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, brow gel which I consistently have used throughout this year love it love it love it and y'all know these are my favorite 
products, period, because I always mention them, especially the pencil. And wow, primer spray, that's also a good one, but that is more of a dewy finish. And I like that sometimes, but most of the times, I'm going with the all-nighter. All right, so I want to finish the eyes, so I'm going back into the ColourPop Proceed with Caution Palette, and I'm going to take the shade Maintenance again and put, put that in my lower waterline area. And then I'm also going to put a little bit of Proceed in the inner the corner. Then I'm going back into the Jackie Palette, and I'm going to take probably some Soleil, and I'm going to put that in the inner corner on top of Proceed. Okay. My favorite eyeliner has been the Fenty um, Cause I'm Black Fly Liner and it's pretty much out so I'm trying to, I'm going to try to use it just because it is a favorites video but I need to replenish it. I haven't. I'm just lazy. That's pretty much the best I'm going to get with this. It's like out so it's kind of like coming out in blotches because it's like barely, it's like nothing in there and it's not as consistent as it would be had I had a full version of it. Mascara. Gonna give it to Milk because I like both the Kush Waterproof and the regular Kush. And I think that's just about, I probably use that more than any other um, eyeliner that I have this year. And then I'm gonna go in with this Morphe O Brow Baby. This was actually a um, it's supposed to be like a brow highlighter, but I've used it as a like waterline eyeliner type of thing. So I don't recommend you use it for that, but I'm just kind of telling you what I've been doing. So yes, the Morphe O Brow Baby in the shade. Um, well, I think that is the shade. And I just line my waterline with this. I feel like that makes my eyes pop so, so much. Um, the next thing I'm going in with, and I think my, my next to last step for the actual face, is my lashes. And this year, Kiss Lashes, hands down, have been the bomb, especially the lashes from their triple push-up collection. I like garters and chiffon, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and pop those on off camera and come back and do the lips. Okay, so lashes are on. Um... One side, like they weren't kind of even. Like one side I didn't have to cut. And the other side I probably should cut. But I'm not. I don't feel like doing that right now. I didn't bring my scissors to my filming desk. So they're just going to have to look like this today. So on to lip. KKW Beauty has stole my heart with the lip liner nude 3. Now honorable mention is the ColourPop BFF4. Um, and it's with the collab between Makeup Shayla and ColourPop. But I don't know if it's going to be limited edition or not. And they didn't say. And also that one to me, that brown has, it's deep. It's really, it's lovely. I love it. But it has a little bit more red tint to it. Where I think the KKW lip liner in New 3 has a little bit more, just a natural brown brown. So, yep, that has been the lip liner of choice. That lip liner just goes on so smooth, so creamy. The next thing I'm going to go in with is, um, a lipstick from ColourPop. I think ColourPop's lipsticks are, they have so many formulas, liquid, cream lux, um, they have the, the blot one, they have ultra glossy, like their lip products are bomb and they range from like six to eight dollars. So it's like perfect. And today I'm going in with the Shayla X ColourPop and slow down. Now I'm going to go in with this Bite Beauty um, lip gloss in the shade French Press. This is like a perfect chocolate lip gloss. And I also used the Fenty one in Cocoa, I think. But this one had been out longer, so it's just kind of like first come, first serve. So this year, this is the one that I used the most just because I had it longer. Okay, so that is all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this look and me sharing my favorite products with you guys. With that, if you like this video, make sure you go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. And yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.